Hello and welcome to my channel. Oh my gosh, you guys, we're finally here. We're doing it. We made it. Uh, this has been a really long time coming, so thank you all for your continued support and patience when it comes to this. Anyone that knows me knows that I have gone through it with technical difficulties and such, uh, so I'm just thankful to finally be here for my first ever YouTube video. Oh, we're doing it! So today we will be reviewing and playing with the new Shayla X Colourpop Proceed with Caution PR Kit. Uh, lots of really great products that I use to create this look as you can see here So if you want to see how I did it and see what I think of these products continue to watch make sure you like and subscribe Thank you all again, and can't wait to see you in the next one As you guys know, we are here to review a little PR kit that I got in the mail, and that would be from my dear friends over at ColourPop. So we'll be looking into the Shayla X ColourPop Proceed with Caution PR kit. Uh, what's really cool about this, I got it in the mail, I was like, ooh, I wonder what's inside. A uh, bam On the back, they give you a nice little view of what to expect. So we're looking at two liquid lips with matching lip liners, two different shades of blush, and then of course the iconic little eyeshadow palette here so there's nine shades in this um, I'm gonna try to dip into as many of them as I possibly can for you guys just to kind of show the range of the palette um, and create just a cute little look for you guys so let's dive in ah I'm so excited ah, okay all right so when we slide this baby off ooh, undressed here she is. We have liquid lips and lip liners on either side. Our two blushes right here and then our palette right there. Alright you guys, here she is. We've got a little foam protector on there. Make sure our shadows don't go anywhere, get messed up by any means. So this is kind of what we're looking at. Super, super cute. I really like the little bronze moments that are going on here. As well as that yellow. That yellow really pops. Um, I've really never seen a yellow like it so we'll see how it comes on the lid I'm definitely gonna dip into that yellow that's really cute um and I'm living for those shimmers that are right there so I'm really excited to just kind of dive into this now there is a little film right here in the upper corner that I could peel off and have a mirror to use as well but I do have a mirror right here so I'm just gonna save that for later when I'm off camera all right so I zoomed you guys in a little bit just so that you can see a little bit better what I'm doing here um, I'm going to start by priming my eyelids. I always use my MAC paint pot. Um, I've just found that it keeps that eyeshadow on all day long. No creasing, no smudging. Um, so I literally just take one of my little Real Techniques. Real Techniques. Deluxe Crease Brush. Um, I don't even know what it's called. <laughs> um, but I just kind of swirl it around in there real quick. And then just kind of start dabbing onto my whole eyelid. Um, Alright, so when I'm looking at this palette, I'm going to try to use this shade up here. It's called Proceed. A uh, nice little cream bone kind of colored base that I can use as a transition color. So I'm going to start by kind of packing that onto the upper portion of my crease towards my brow bone just to give something nice and creamy for everything else to kind of blend into. So we're going to start there. So I'm going to grab my Morphe um, M504 brush. It's just a nice, really big, fluffy brush that I can use to dip into that transition shade and just kind of start swiping it up in that brow bone. going to dip into shade culture which is this one right down here nice little warm toned brown uh, that I can use to start packing into my crease so if you've never used a ColourPop product I highly recommend there's really no excuses they're very very affordable and the quality is just amazing in my opinion
All right, now I'm going to use my Morphe 506 brush. This is a really teeny tiny, very tapered brush that I use to kind of get directly into my crease with. I use this mainly for um, blending very small areas that you want to get into without kind of taking away from the color. I also use this just to kind of pack color into my crease, make sure that it's there, and then I can use another brush to kind of blend it out. I'm going to take this brush and I'm going to dip into shade Maintenance. It's this nice little burgundy maroon moment right up here. So I'm going to use that just to kind of pack into my crease to darken everything up a little bit. don't want to get too blendy with this because I'm going to go back in with culture and kind of blend both of these colors together. So I really want to make sure that maintenance is packed into my lid and nice and pigmented so that I can go back in and just kind of blend it all together nice and good like. Now that I've got that kind of packed into my crease, it's nice and pigmented. So far I'm really happy with this palette. Um, the colors do look... The colors do look the same as they do in the palette as they do on your skin. To me that's really important because there's definitely some eyeshadow palettes that I've tried to where the colors look really really pretty in the pan and it's a great looking palette. It's super pretty and then you go to put it on your skin and it disappears. Like, it's not the same color, it's super muted and faded compa compared to what it looks like in the pan. Um, so, so far, I'm not seeing that with this. Everything that it looks like in the actual palette and in the pan is coming onto my skin, so I'm really happy about that. Um, so I'm just going to, again, take that same Morphe 505 brush, dip back into Culture, and I'm gonna start just kind of blending both of these colors together. Eyeshadow is all about patience, taking the time to actually push those colors together, blend them out. So now that we've got a nice little blend there, I'm going to go back in with that same little uh, Morphe 506 brush, the little tapered one, and I'm going to... Mm. I want to deepen my crease a little bit. So what I think I want to do, this one's called Gloves On. It's a black gray tone and it's got some nice little like copper sparkle to it. So I'm going to go kind of right below and into where that uh, maroon is, that maintenance color, and just start deepening that crease. Okay, thank God. I got so scared, you guys. I was like, this is going to be so black. And I'm gonna have to start this video all over. That's literally what I was thinking. And again, going back in with culture to blend everything together. So now that my crease is deepened, we have those three colors kind of nice and blended together. I am actually going to cut my crease. So what I do is I start in the very inner corner of my eye. I've seen a lot of people will do that thing where they like look up and everything and see how it kind of smudged some of that color onto there. You're basically going to use that as a guide. kind of do let it dry a little bit just so that when you put the color on top you're not like mixing concealer and eyeshadow together 
tends to mute some of the shimmers and glitters if that's something that you're using. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these three shimmers right here and kind of make a nice cute little blend. Um, so I'm going to kind of start with this one right up here, which is called Dead End, a nice really pretty gold tone shimmer. And I'm going to start by packing that into the inner corner of my eye where I have cut my crease. And then I'm going to go ahead and blend in what's called Warning, that really, really pretty, it's bright orange, super cute. Then I'm going to blend that in and then I'm going to finish up in the outer corner with Hazard. <laughs> H-Z-R-D, hazard. <laughs> I don't know how else you would say that. All right, so I am going to use this Moda brush. What is it called? BMX 402 smudger. I don't know. It looks like this. Okay, um, I'm just going to clean it off, make sure that nothing's on it. And I'm just going to kind of tap, tap, tap and swipe into that color just because sometimes with shimmers, they tend to kind of want to stay in the pan. So I put a little bit more effort into picking up the color. Wow, cute. All right, then we're gonna go back into Hazard here. There is this fourth shimmer down here called Drill. Dang, I don't know, maybe I will use that. Maybe we'll try to use that. We'll use that after warning here, this bright orange. I'm so excited for this bright orange. I'm loving this so far. Blending it into that gold a little bit more so that you get just like a nice little ombre going on. You feel me? All right, I am gonna try to use that other shimmer shade, you guys. Drill down here. I'm going back into Warning, that bright orange. Wow. That's really pretty so far. All right, and lastly, I'm going to dip into Hazard, the last and darkest shimmer shade here. All right, I'm gonna pack this into my outer corner and just finish off the nice little shimmer that we have going on here. What do you think? I like it. All right. I am going to use that yellow and I'm going to pack it kind of into my inner corner and under my eye and then finish out with a little bit of shadow under my eye as well here. Last but not least, we're gonna dip into Caution, that bright yellow right there. Wow, that's bright. That is, I like blew it off and it's still really bright. So let me go finish the other eye, do some lashes and everything, and then we're gonna come right back and we're gonna dive into those blushes and both of those liquid lips and liners. I am gonna do both just because I wanna review my whole package. I wanna touch everything, okay? Anyway, I'll be right back. Okay, we are back, lashes on. Such a pretty eyeshadow look. I'm in love with it, really digging those shadows. Um, so, Next, what we're going to do, we're going to dive right into the blush. I have two different shades. This one is called Construct. We open it up and it's a nice little like mauve moment. Um, it's got a little bit of a shimmer to it, which I kind of like. So I'll be doing that on this cheek here. And then the other one that we have is called Whistle While You Work and bam nice and pink nice little rose moment here so i'll be doing that on this cheek here we're just going to go in with whistle while you work tap into it it seems really pigmented this one doesn't have a shimmer to it it's matte so it'll be interesting to see the difference with those tapped into that and i'm just going to oh bam wow that did not take a whole lot 
I put blush right up to my temple and then kind of blend it into my bronze. Make sure you smile. Put it on the apples of your cheeks. Cute! I really like that. I really like that. Okay, let's dip into this one. And same kind of thing here. Ooh, I like that. Definitely a different tone than the other one, which I like. Up into the temple, down into the bronzer, and bam! Okay, so you can kind of see it has a little bit more of a shimmer to it compared to this side. But really, really cute. Like it. So next we have two different liquid lip sets. They each come with a lip liner in them. This one is called Slow Down and this one's called Speed Up. So, all right, so this is what we're looking at here. We have a nice little lippy pencil and then a ultra satin lip. Let's go in and start lining our lips. All right, and we are all lined up, everyone. Now, here comes the good stuff. Ooh, I really like this color. It's like the perfect nude. the way that feels. I really like the way it looks. It's really nice. I think it complements the colors that I did really well um, and it kind of matches that shade that I put up there in my crease. So that's what this one looks like. So that one was slowed down um, and next we're going to do speed up. So this one is a little bit pinkier than the other one, not as nude, um, and then just a little bit warmer and lighter toned of a brown lip pencil. So again, we're going to go in and line the lips. Alrighty, now that we're all lined up, we're going to open up our ultra satin lip. Ooh, I have a feeling that this one's going to be my favorite. I really, really love these nice pink lips. Yeah, this one is definitely my favorite. I really like the fact that it's pink, but it still complements all of the other tones and colors that are happening on my face right now. So, with that said, we are now done with this little product review. Um, I really, really liked everything that was in this whole bundle. The blushes were great, the eyeshadow palette was amazing, everything was very pigmented, very easily blendable. Um, I just, I'm in love with this whole package and I am just so proud of myself for being able to sit down and do this review. Thank you all for watching. I cannot believe I finally did it, you guys. I'm so proud of myself that I'm here right now and that I got through all of this. I had some slight technical difficulties. Hopefully that won't show in the ending of this. Um, but now we are all set and I'm ready to just edit and get this party going. If you liked this video, make sure you like, comment, or subscribe to Be to Belle Beauty. Slap on those notifications so that you never miss a thing. Um, tomorrow I'm actually filming another video for somebody else's channel. Um, so I will drop the description uh, below for that channel so that you guys can head over to her channel and watch that. Uh, we're gonna be doing something very interesting and a little bit scary but uh we'll see how it goes so again thank you so much to everyone that has supported me over the last couple of months i've only been doing this whole makeup thing for about a year or so now um but i've just 
I'm in love with it. This is my passion. This is my hobby. I just, I love doing this. And I just always appreciate all the love and support that I get from people on my Instagram and on my Facebook group. If you are part of the beauty addicts everywhere, hello, bays. I love you so much. Um, thank you so much to everyone again. And I did it. I did it. Okay. Thank you. Love you. Bye.